Good everyone, you're watching Radio Fixes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix if your windows keep freezing randomly. Now, you can follow the steps for Windows 10 or Windows 11 or any of the older version of a Windows operating system. Now, there are a couple of steps which I would be suggesting in this video. So please make sure to watch this video till the end. Follow the step and uh, that should help you to resolve this issue. Now, the first step, what I would strongly recommend you to do is to go ahead and change the screen resolution to fix the problem. To do this, you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings. Once you're on the settings, you may go ahead and click on system on the left hand side and then click on display on the right and then look for display resolution. Always make sure the display resolution has been set to recommended, not anything else, not less not, or more. Make sure it has been set to recommended. And at the same time, also make sure the scaling has been set to recommended. So in case if uh, the scaling has been chosen to any of these, you make sure it has been set to the recommended one. Once this is done, you may close this window and check if your issue has been resolved. Next step to fix this issue is to go ahead and update the device driver. Now there are different ways to update the device driver now the common method is to go ahead and check if there are any device driver available through the windows update to do this you can do a right click on the start button and then click on settings once you're on the settings click on the windows update on the left hand side and then on the right hand side choose advanced option and then look for up optional update see if there are any optional updates available in my case there is a driver update available so similarly in case if you have any driver updates available go ahead and check the box and then click on download and install i'm not going to install this update for now i'm going to uh, install it later so in your case if you have the updates available check the box and then click on download and install restart the computer and check if your issue has been resolved now in spite of this if you're still facing a problem the next step what i would suggest you to do is to go ahead and perform a disk cleanup in the search window you may go ahead and type disk cleanup you would see the best match for disk cleanup so double click on it this will open the disk cleanup tool on your computer make sure you have checked the options for disk cleanup everything under recycle bin and thumbnails so that you are cle clearing up your drive and deleting some of the unwanted files from your computer and then click on ok in, when you get a prompt to delete the files permanently, you may go and click on delete files. Wait until the disk cleanup deletes all the file. And if you get a prompt to folder access denied, you may go and check the box which says do this for all current items and then click on continue. Wait until you see any prompt once this is done you wouldn't see any window on the screen you might want to go ahead and restart the computer and check if your issue has been resolved now in spite of this if you're still facing a problem the next step is to go ahead and optimize your drive now in case if you're using your hdd um, then this is the recommended steps please do not follow the steps in case if you're using a solid state drive and i will let you know how to identify if you're using a solid state drive or a hard disk drive now to do this you will have to go to the search and type defrag you would see the best match for defragment and optimized drive click on it now in this window you would see your drive under media type if it says hdd only then you go ahead and do an optimize in case if you see a solid state drive just like in my case do not go ahead and click on optimize so once you have selected the drive you may click on optimize when if it is an hdd wait until the defragmentation is complete restart your computer and check if your issue has been resolved the next step what you could do is you could go ahead and check for the ram issues on your computer now you will have to go to the search window once you are on the search window go ahead and type windows memory diagnostic this will give you the best match for windows memory diagnostic tool click on it you would get a prompt saying that check your computer for memory problems and you will have to go ahead and check the box which says restart now and check for the problem what this will do is this will go ahead and run the memory diagnostic tool on your computer and check if there are any issues related to your memory or a ram once the test is complete you will be rebooted back to the desktop and then you can check if your issue has been resolved now during this process uh, in case if you get or if you see any error message related to your memory diagnostic effects error you might need to replace your faulty ram and it is very rare scenario so only if your ram is faulty you might want to replace it once that is done check if your issue has been resolved and uh, that should fix a problem 
Now, in spite of trying all this step, and if you are still facing a problem, there are a few other steps which you could also try on the computer. The next step, what I would suggest you to do is to run the SFC scan or DISM scan on the computer. So to do this, you will have to go to the search and in the search window, you will have to go ahead and type CMD. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen now once you have the command prompt open you will have to go ahead and type a couple of commands here and one such command is dism scan i will also mention this command in the video description you can copy and paste the command here by doing a right click and it should paste the command once you have this command hit enter wait until the command has been successfully executed once this command has been executed the next command what you will have to go ahead and execute is for sfc scan so you can go ahead and type sfc space forward slash scan now i will also mention this command in the description and hit enter wait until this command has been successfully executed and it will prompt you to go ahead and restart your computer once you restart your computer Check if your issue has been resolved. In case if your issue has been resolved, well and good, you don't need to try the next step. The next step is to go ahead and run the check disk command on your computer. Now to run the check disk, what you will have to do is you will have to go to the search window and type CMD. You will see the best match for the command prompt. Do a right click and then click on run as administrator. In case if you get a user access control prompt, you may click on yes or continue on the screen. Once you have the command prompt open, you will have to go ahead and run the command for check disk you can copy the command from the video description and do a right click and that should paste the command here so this will run the check disk it will try to repair the uh, disk as well in case if there are any issues you will have to wait until the command has been successfully executed if you get a prompt check the next time the system restarts you may click on yes so what this basically will do is when you restart your computer it will go ahead and run the check disk and see if there are any issues related to your hard disk and it will try to repair by itself once your computer is restarted you may go ahead and check if your issue has been resolved now all this step should definitely fix the problem in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem the last step what you could do is you could try to reset your windows to the factory defaults without deleting the files how do you do it you can do a right click on the start button and then click on setting once you're on the settings you will have to go to windows update under windows update you will have to go ahead and click on advanced option once you're on the advanced option you will have to go ahead and click on recovery and then look for the option which says recovery and here you will have to go ahead and click on reset pc you will be prompted to choose an option which says keep my files or remove everything do not go ahead and click on remove everything if you do this your computer will be formatted completely you will not be able to access any of your old files always make sure you choose keep my file and then follow the step-by-step -step instruction on the screen wait until your computer restarts once your computer restarts your issue should be resolved in spite of trying all this step and if you're still facing a problem i would strongly suggest you to leave me a comment in the comment section so that i can come up with the possible solution i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Have a great day.